from Mac and Bob's Restaurant in Salem, Virginia. It's time for Maroon's Tuesday Night Live. Here are your hosts for tonight's show, Richmond Bramblett and Brett Peltier. Welcome to Mac and Bob's for the Tuesday, January 29th edition of Maroon's Tuesday Night Live. I'm Richmond Bramblett, joined by Brett Peltier, our guest for tonight, men's basketball coach Paige Moyer, women's basketball coach Susan Dunnigan, men's basketball players Connor Toomey and Tyler Akers, women's basketball player Kayla Limke, uh, women's basketball alumnus Kay Caldwell, and men's soccer coach Ryan Flugrad. But first, let's take a look at what has happened in the last two weeks. The men's basketball team currently has a record of 8-11 and, and are 1-9 and in ODAC play. The Maroons picked up their first ODAC win of the season last Wednesday against Emory and Henry, 82-65. They then went on to face Randolph-Macon Saturday in the 149th meeting between the two teams, and the Maroons fell to the Yellow Jackets, 75-62. In the Emory and Henry game, Daniel Eco had 23 points and 14 rebounds. Julian Ramirez had 10 points and 5 rebounds. And Quasi Ampansaw had 10 points. And in the Randolph-Macon game, Daniel Eco had 23 and 14 again. And Julian Ramirez had 10 points and 5 rebounds. Quasi Ampansaw had 10 points. And, and the women's basketball team... And now has a record of 8-11. and 11. They're 4-6 and six in the ODAC through last Wednesday. They were on a three-game ODAC win streak, uh, defeating Emory and Henry Randolph. Uh, Laurel Hankins scored a career-high 26 points in the game against Randolph with four rebounds. Kelsey Smith, the freshman, had 16 points, and Paxton Gwynn had 10 points and four rebounds. They also defeated Washington and Lee by a score of 58-47. Paxton Gwynn had 10 points, eight rebounds. Tate McKee with 17 and five rebounds, Laurel Hagen with 14 and seven. Most recently, the Maroons fell in ODAC play against Eastern Mennonite University, uh, 74-46. Paxton Gwynn picked up her second double-double in three games in that contest. Also on the track and field side, Carmen Graves was named ODAC uh, Indoor Track Athlete of the Week. Uh, she, st- she set the top ODAC time uh, in the 800-meter run with a time of 2 minutes, 9 seconds, point nine nine, She ranks the second in NCAA Division Three following uh, that action. She also went to anchor the Maroons 4 by 400 meter relay team, which clocked in at 3 minutes, 57 seconds, and po- or point six eight. They're currently fifth in the country in that event. Brett will be back in just one moment as he sits down with head men's basketball coach Paige Moore. Stay with us. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7 in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. back to Maroons Tuesday Night Live here at Mac and Bob's. I'm with men's basketball coach Paige Moyer. And last Wednesday you were victorious over Emory and Henry and your friend Paul Russo. Yes. Talk a little bit about what that did for your ODAC. Well, it's play. just good, good to get a home win. And, uh, yeah, we struggled in the ODAC so far this year. We think we have a schedule where we can finish very strong. It really started with that night. 
we, we took the lead early and took command of that game early, which was very important. Uh, I think we developed some confidence from it. We had a, a really good lift off the bench and really had the same thing carry over into the Randolph making game where our bench really came through for us. So we think we have the makings of finishing strong down the stretch, and that's what we need to do, and that's what we're planning on doing. And then Saturday you went to Ashland and played the 149th meeting between Randolph Macon and Roanoke. It dates back to 1911. Talk uh-huh. a little bit about that contest. I think I've seen half of those games because uh, I saw a bunch of my dad was coaching. Uh, Back then, it's always been a great rivalry. Randolph Macon has been a perennial top 15 team the last really decade. And uh, yeah, we gave it a good shot. We played well down there, but didn't play well enough. We struggled shooting the ball. A lot of that has to do with their defense. They're a little bit longer and taller than us. And they did a tremendous job on quasi. But, you know, we finished strong. We gave ourselves a chance to win the game in the second half. But uh, when it really got tight, we couldn't hit shots, and they did. And your post player, your five player, Daniel Lico, has had a double-double last two games. Talk a little bit about what Daniel's brought to your your squad. Well, it's just watching him evolve. And uh, you know, last year as a freshman, he, he started out and got some minutes early. By the end of last year, he was starting for us. And uh, this year, he's been very solid in the low post. But having him reel off, I think, double-doubles in three of the last four games is huge for us. And uh, it shows his progression. I think uh, the coach has done a good job of, of getting him ready to play. And Daniel works very hard. He's a young man who plays with a lot of passion, a lot of energy. Uh, at, at times, he'll commit fouls, but they're you know, he's going at it 101%. So expect big things out of him down the rest of the season and in his future. And tomorrow night you get a visit from the Guilford College Quakers and a longtime ODAC person, Coach Tom Palumbo, who had the Virginia Wesleyan women and the yep. Guilford men. And talk a little bit about that contest. Well, I mean, Tom's done a great job. Again, they went to back-to-back Final Fours just a couple of years ago. Uh, the, the one constant is Josh Pittman. He has been one of the best players in the ODAC from day one his freshman year. I'm glad he's a senior. He's having a great year for him. He's just the setup guy for him. He's got the ball in his hands 60% of the time. Uh, he's got some good players around him, but... Really, Pittman's a guy you've got to key on and, and let him not get his 25 to 30 points. And, you, you know, if you take away his points, he can still pass the heck out of the ball. He sets up the other guys. So he's a guy we've got to contend with. They've got some other very good players. Uh, McCarthy kid, they're two guards shooting 40% from three. They've got another freshman. It seems like they always find that 6'9 kid who can become a player. And they've got a, a local kid named Zeb Richardson who's going to be an outstanding player. They're a little beaten up. They have eight really good players. They don't go very long on their bench, but again, that's good for chemistry. The guys know they're going to play a lot of minutes and they perform well. Uh, they were top 25 two weeks ago, but they've lost a couple of games since. But again, that happens in the ODAC. Every night is a, is a war. And a head coach can't do it by himself. You've got a great staff, and uh, Tony Dumford and Paul yeah. Bernard and your new coach, Michael Strickland. Talk a little bit about your staff. Well, I'm real excited about the guys uh, that, that have chosen to help us. Paul's been with me for over a decade now, and I've known Tony. You know, I'm so old. I had Tony in camp when uh, I was at Virginia Tech running that camp, and Tony was a camper for me, being from the River Valley. Uh, he was a head high school coach at Brookville and Christiansburg. Of course, Paul's well-known in the Roanoke Valley when he coached at uh, William Bird for 29 years. And then Michael's a young man I knew. It's funny, I knew his dad long before he was born. His dad was at DeMatha High School as a player and assistant coach, played at Pitt. I knew him at several Division One stops. We always stayed in touch. And then when Michael went to Macon, I got to know Michael in the summer camp circuit, knew he'd be a good coach. When our job came available last year, Michael's one of the first guys I thought of. And uh, I, th- I think he, he, he knew of Roanoke's tradition and history and what a great school it is and wanted to work here. So it's been a, a really good marriage. He's kind of my full-time guy in the office. He's the one that spends a lot of time out on the road recruiting. And I'm real excited about all three guys have done a fantastic job for me. They're fun to work with. Okay, Paige, well, we appreciate your visit this week. And good luck tomorrow night against Guilford and the rest of the ODAC season. Appreciate get, it. Get strong into the tournament. And we'll be back with uh, Roanoke alum Kay Caldwell, Kay Spangler. And I'll be back with her right back at This is Tuesday Night Live at Mac and Bob's. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch 10 a.m. till 2 See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. I did receive a non-athletic scholarship upon entering uh, school. I got the presidential scholarship, which was huge for me.
I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all-beef hot dogs. Only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop in food stores. Welcome back to Maroons Tuesday Night Live, and I'm here with women's basketball alumnus Kay Caldwell and Kay Spangler. Hello, friend. It's nice to see you again. It's, yeah. been, a, it's been a long time, and uh, you used to come watch me play when I was playing for Ring Oak. Yeah, before I had gray hair and <laughs> when I weighed 119 pounds. <laughs> so both of those things. It's a pleasure to have you back, and you were honored tonight in the game uh, before the game against Guilford. How did it feel to receive that recognition? You know, it's always an honor to come back to Renner College. I just have always felt a part of the family, um, no matter how many years it's been. Um, I just love coming back any chance that I can get. Well, we're going to start you way back at your high school career at Cave Spring with Coach Linda Long. Talk a little bit about that experience. You know, uh, Linda Long is a, is a tr- truly great role model. Um, she, she taught me what hard work is all about, and she taught me that hard work would definitely pay off. And, and it did, and she, she taught me that what it was like to be a part of a, a team, whether it's in basketball or anything. And um, <clears throat> that's, you know, what kind of made me want to join a, a college basketball team and be a part of the whole group and uh, work hard, and I knew that would pay off, and I feel like I, I can make that pay off at Roanoke College. So um, I wanted to stay in the Roanoke Valley, and um, I'm just, just proud to be from the Roanoke Valley and to be from Roanoke College. And you did decide to come down 419 to Roanoke College and play for another former Cave Spring coach, Susan Dunnigan. Susan Dunnigan. Well, Dunnigan coached my sister for a couple of years, so the whole first year I was here, I was actually a uh, my sister Jody instead, but I forgave her for that after the first year. She finally got it right. Um, <laughs> um, Dunning is a, another true role model for me also. She just, um, you know, taught me what hard work was about also and, and how to be successful in life. Um, she's always somebody I try to make contact with when I do come back to campus. She's just a uh, She's taught me what it's like to be a part of a whole family, whether it's your immediate family or part of your college family. Your freshman year, you were part of a 28-2 and team that went to the NCAA corners. Your sophomore year, you were part of a 24-3 and team that went to the Sweet 16. And mm-hmm. I could uh, expound a long way about a, about a uh, trip to Wisconsin that I took on an RV, and you guys took on a plane. A very small plane. A very small plane. Well, <laughs> well, talk about traveling up in a tube of toothpaste. I'm sure the folks that... It was cold. <laughs> it was cold. It was cold. There wasn't a whole lot in Eau Claire, as I remember. There was not. Um, I, I tell you, that was just a great core of seniors that year. Um, th- they taught me a lot coming in. You know, I was young, and I was just glad to be a part of the experience and for them to uh, include us and and just be a part of that team. Um, I truly learned a lot, which really set the stage for the next three years. That was a, a great year. I'll never forget it. Your senior year, you had your finest season. You, yourself, as team captain, you were ODAC Player of the Week twice and earned ODAC, all ODAC honors for the season. Talk about that yeah, last go-round. That's where I was just saying, you know, the first year I was there, I had such, you know, some, a great core of seniors to learn from, and they really taught us the ropes, and they uh, set the stage for our future years. And, you know, just each year we learned from each other and we became a part of a team. And we really worked together. And um, you got to work hard. you got to work together to be a team. And that's what gives you success. And we had a lot of success those four years. Well, before I let you go, I want to thank you for your friendship. And thank I want you. to thank you for the way your parents treated me those four years. You know, they wish they could be here. Um, they've always been a huge fan of yours and of Renner College. And um, <clears throat> I have truly enjoyed my Renner College experience, and I hope that anyone who gets a chance to experience it goes for it. Well, I'm looking forward, when I get off the set here, visiting more with your husband and meeting your daughter. I haven't met your daughter yet. I've met your son. And, and haven't met son. your daughter. So yeah. great to have you. Thanks for Thank coming you. back. Thanks for visiting with us. That was 
Roanoke, uh, Roanoke College alum Kay Caldwell, uh, Kay Spangler. I respectfully call her Kay <laughs> Spangler okay. now. Thank you. And uh, next is going to be Roanoke College current player, Kayla Lemke. This is Roanoke College Tuesday Night Live at Mac and Bob's. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, then I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself Brands as a complete individual. Score! A family with your team that can guide you. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors, Mac and Bob's. All Sports, Stop In Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. Roanoke College, timeless and true, smart and solid, practical and professional, making discoveries about yesterday, creating visions for tomorrow, lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Welcome back to Maroons Tuesday Night Live here at Mac and Bob's, and I'm with current women's basketball player Kayla Lemke. Kayla, first of all, we're going to have you talk about your high school career at North Mecklenburg, so give us your thoughts on on those years. Um, I played varsity basketball at North Mech for four years. Um, Tatum McKee also played with me, and we've actually played together since the eighth grade, so um, it's been really fun playing with her for so long. But um, North Mech has a great program, and I really enjoyed all four years there. And you decided to come to Roanoke College, and we asked all the athletes to come on the show this. What, what made that decision for you? Um, when I was a senior in high school, I didn't know if I wanted to go to a big four-year university or continue playing basketball. But after my senior night, um, I realized that I love the game so much and that I wasn't done playing. So I came to Roanoke. And you're shooting 80% from the foul line this year. And talk about, do you work on your free throws and how much and what goes into that? Um, I consider free throws free, so I practice them a lot. And when I think about it, I think that it's a free shot and that it should be automatic. So um, I focus on free throws, and I, I mean, I like to make them. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's a, that's a good thing. The other thing that the, the young ladies who have come on the show from the women's basketball program is they've talked about their teammates. So share your thoughts on your teammates from this year's squad. I absolutely love all of my teammates so much. We all get along so well. There's no drama, and that's usually hard to find on a women's basketball team. I talked about Tatum. I played with her since I was in the eighth grade, so we've grown up together, and we play really well together. And Hannah Ward is my best friend, and she's also a guard, so I love them all. Well, thanks for your thoughts, and we wish you well the the rest of the season. Get off the disabled list as it were get back out on the court and uh, good to have you on the show and we'll be back Richmond's going to be back with the new men's soccer coach Ryan Flugrad so enjoy that and uh, we'll be back Maroons Tuesday Night Live at Mac and Bob's I'm Shane Beamer and I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store hey dad I'm gonna grab a hot dog you want one sure let me give you it's okay dad I got this one this week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop In Food Stores. 
Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botata, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Mac and Bob's. All Sports. Stop in food stores, Dairy Queen, Chick fil A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. Tuesday Night Live, as I'm joined by the new men's soccer head coach, Ryan Flugrad. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, now, you are really coming back to Salem. Um, you were a 2002 graduate. Uh, here at Roanoke College, uh, had a, a great playing career. Uh, had you're the leader, a career leader in game-winning goals. You also ranked ninth all time in goals scored. Talk a little bit first about what brought you initially here to Roanoke College as a student uh, and to play for uh, Coach Scott Allison. Yeah, I, um, looking through as a, as a high school player and a youth player at different colleges, I went through the process that I think a lot of the guys that uh, currently play and have played at Roanoke over the years. You. You're looking at some Division One schools, maybe, and have some some aspirations um, to do that. And then, um, as the search goes through, for me personally, I uh, I came on a assistant coach James Brown came up and watched me play in an All State game and, and talked to me about Rona College a little bit. And I came kind of on a just a whim to check the school out in a way. And uh, when I got down here, um, I think it was just a combination of players, coaching staff, and uh, kind of the family atmosphere that Roanoke College has that uh, kind of sparked my interest in the school. Uh, in addition, I, I like the fact that they had a winning tradition, and sure. uh, I guess at that point in the uh, in comparison to some of the Division One schools that I was looking at, I wanted to come somewhere and win some games, sure. and uh, so it worked out. Now, speaking of some of those games, do you have any, mem- any memorable games or any memorable moments as a player here at Roanoke College? Yeah, I mean, I got a ton of them. Um, you know, first and foremost, we won the uh, ODAC championship my senior year, um, or tournament championship anyhow, and that was something that kind of evaded us throughout my four years. We were uh, a top seed often and had some national rankings, but my senior year we played Washington and Lee in the final and, uh, and uh, won 3-2, and that was a, a pretty special moment. Now, um you had a couple of coaching stints in some other places, but your most recent one uh, coming out of uh, Denver, uh, you were the associate head coach there. Talk a little bit about the difference from Division One and now moving into Division Three. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, there's a, the obvious differences are, um, you know, athletic scholarships. Um, there's, there's some dissimilarities, I guess, in the amount of time that you can work with the athletes due to NCAA rules, but... Uh, in general, you know, if you're working with motivated athletes and uh, competitive competitive kids, I think that there's a lot of similarities in the college student athlete experience. And so, um, you know, maybe at the University of Denver, there's uh, or Division One school, there's some other outside things that you're having to do as a coach, be it um, fundraising, marketing, some things like that. But uh, the core piece of coaching and the athletes playing is, is pretty similar. Does it make it easier to make the switch from Division One to Division Three, coming back to a place that you're so familiar with? Yeah, I think it does. Uh, obviously, I have a like great, great heart for Roanoke College sure. and uh, a strong belief in both the school and uh, also the athletic programs. So I think that uh, coming back to a place I know certainly makes it a little bit easier. Now, coming back to Roanoke College, you're you're kind of having to fill the shoes of, of, a, of a legend, if you will. Uh, 26 seasons of Scott Allison, over 300 wins. Uh, finished or accumulated over 300 wins uh, through the end of the past season. What's it going to be like to have to fill Scott Allison's shoes? Man, it's there are huge shoes to fill. That's <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, like you said, 300 wins, ODAC championships. Uh, you know, he's coached a lot of great players. I think it's it's a challenge. It's certainly a challenge. Um, but I think, like I I had said, uh, coach's retirement party. I think the biggest challenge with coach is just. Uh, Filling the shoes of such a great person and mentor, you know, for the players that played for him, and uh, that's probably going to be the biggest challenge when it's all said and done. 
now uh, kind of gotten a little acclimated, gotten into the office, a little settled in, um, have, have kind of worked a little with your uh, assistant coaches. Um, what can people look, really look forward to in the uh, new Ryan Flugrad era of uh, Rono College Soccer? Yeah, I think um, I think in a, in a lot of ways the uh, some of my you know core coaching philosophies are similar to, to Coach Allison in that um, both soccer specific as far as like the a possession oriented style of uh, attacking soccer that the team will play. Um, you know, a program that uh, you know, has character kids and have a desire to win as well. Um, you know, different different things. I think I've gained some experience, you know, especially at the Division One level and some uh, maybe training training ideas. I think also in uh, just the overall um, running of a, a, a soccer program. And I think that's one big thing that I've already kind of in meetings with the guys talked to them about is uh, just being a resource with the program to the, you know, greater Roanoke soccer community. And uh, this year they got a pretty big uh, look at having, you know, as they were winning and into the finals, big crowds and what sure. you and, and Brad and the guys are doing in marketing, I think that's something that we would like to can continue to grow and grow and grow and make it a place that's a really special place to play for, for the athletes. Well, Coach, we appreciate you coming on the show. Welcome again yeah. back to back to Roanoke College. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hopefully we, well, we will. We'll definitely get you back on <laughs> as uh, we get closer to uh, soccer season. Great. Thanks again. We'll be back in just one moment as I sit down with men's basketball player Connor Toomey. Stay with us. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7 in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. For information or schedules on Valley Vision TV programs, visit us on the Internet at valleyvisiontv.com. Remember, you're watching the Valley's only true local network, Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. And we're back here at Mac and Bob's with men's basketball player Connor Toomey. First off, Connor, welcome to the show. You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, now, you are a two-year varsity player for Ronda Reagan High School in San Antonio, Texas, uh, and helped lead the team to the bi-district championship your, your senior year. What was it really about Roanoke College that, that made you want to come here and, and be a Marin? Well, honestly, I've been from Texas pretty much my whole life. And, um, you know, it's time for a change of scenery. Visited the school and really, really liked it. Got an opportunity to talk to Coach Moyer. Obviously, he's a great guy. And um, kind of just made my decision based on that. Uh, now, from what I understand, basketball really isn't your, the only thing you do here at, at Roanoke College. You're a member of um, Cap Alf Order. Um, you're an RA as well. How difficult is it to really manage both being uh, on the basketball team and really your extracurricular time as well? Uh, I mean, it's cliche, but it's true. It's all about time management. Honestly, being on the basketball team has made it a lot easier for me to organize my time as far as, you know, knowing I have to sit down and I might have a half an hour, 45 minutes to get something done, really crank it up. Now, um, I've seen uh, some of the promotional videos for Ronald College that you've been in and seen that uh, you're quite Sorry. the traveler. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your um, about what you've been doing and kind of the expeditions that you've been going on? Um, well, I've been to a couple of different places, but the most recent one was I got the opportunity to teach abroad in Columbia this past summer, and that was really, really fun. So a great experience, very eye-opening. What really got you into, like, to go? What was it that kind of sent you there to go teaching? Well, I am, like, two and a half hours from Mexico, so <laughs> I've always had a lot of, you know, contact and experience with the language. And coming to school, took a couple of Spanish classes and just 
you know, really started to love it. Yeah, honed it in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, back in your four years, what are some fond memories that you'll kind of take with you as you're about to graduate this spring? This year's been really, really special for me just because, um, you know, this is my first year on varsity. Mm -hmm. The last three years I've been on JV. And so, um, you know, it's just been a really special experience to, you know, kind of get that team atmosphere and uh, kind of feel like everything that I worked for has, has come true. Now, um, again, as we mentioned, you're going to graduate in spring. What are your kind of plans going on from graduation? Right now, a lot of different stuff's up in the air. Um, I have a Peace Corps interview this next Monday, and so that's what I'm looking forward cool. to right now. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not really sure yet, to tell you the truth. Now, looking uh, more here in the closer future, uh, you all have Guilford tomorrow night. Um, what have you all been really working on? I know you all were kind of watching some game film uh, tonight. What are you all looking forward to in that contest against Guilford tomorrow? Uh, well, like Coach said earlier, uh, you know, Pippen's going to be the real key for us. we got to shut him down quick and... Um, you know, kind of continue through the game. I think we've been playing a lot better together as a team recently as well, and so I think that's going to work in our favor. And uh, everybody can catch that game on here on maroons.roanoke.edu. Uh, the links are on all of the schedules. Connor, thanks for joining us on the show. I appreciate it. Thank you. Come back anytime. We'll be back in just one moment as I sit down with Tyler Akers. Stay with us. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop In Food Store. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you. It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop In Food Stores. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. with men's basketball player Tyler Akers. Tyler, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? Thanks for having me. Doing well. Now, uh, you're in high school, you were first-team all-district and all-region uh, in both basketball and baseball at uh, George White High School. What was it about Roanoke College that made you want to attend uh, and to play basketball here? Um, it was uh, it was pretty close to home, so some of my family can come to a lot of my games. I think they missed like one or two home games so far. Uh, I came down and visited Coach Moore, talked to all the assistants. I really like Coach Dunford, the guy that mainly recruited me. And so when I narrowed it down to two or three ODAC schools, I just felt like I would feel at home here and just like the atmosphere. Now you've played in 17 of the games this season, including a uh, career-high nine points against Goucher College back in November. Talk a little bit about your role on the team and, and how you really make uh, the most of, of, of your time. Um, I think just the way we play, we start out at the beginning of the season, a lot of run and gun stuff, and one of my strengths is shooting, so I would try to take advantage there. Uh, now we've kind of backed off, but Coach still plays. Like, we have a pretty deep rotation, so a lot of the guys, I mean, when you just come in, you try to give us a spark as much as you can and just use the time that you get sure. to make the most of it. And if you, you kind of look, you can see a lot of people uh, shooting, shooting about the same on the team, but so you can see it is, it is kind of pretty spread out. Yeah, it is pretty spread out. I mean, that's something that helps us. The games that we've won and been, like, a lot better and played well, it's been, like, offense throughout the whole team, not just, you know, one or two guys. So that's really what I guess one of our strength is, especially this year. Now, this past summer uh, you had an internship at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Uh, there you were able to work uh, on your game with some of the Cavaliers basketball players. Can you tell us really what you did and how that improved your game? Uh I got to work out a lot with Coach McKay. 
um, he helped me with my shot, kind of just tweaking little things. A lot of it was getting my feet set, just catching the ball ready to shoot, and I feel like it really sped up my release, and I'm able to get the ball off faster, and I always shot the ball pretty high, so just the fact that it's a little faster makes it a lot harder for people to contest. Now, as we kind of talked with Connor just a moment ago, uh, getting ready to play Guilford uh, here in the Bass Center tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Uh, talk a little bit of, about the upcoming game and kind of what it means uh, for the season here. Uh, it, it means a whole lot for us um, right now. Our home record is not what we want it to be. We haven't played well in front of our home fans, so that's something that we really want to improve on the rest of the season, kind of show those guys how much we appreciate their support and play as hard as we can for them. But Guilford's a team that they run their stuff. Like They're not as big as other teams, but what they do, they do really well. So we're going to have to be really disciplined and execute if we want to come out with a dub. Now we're right here at the end of January, and we're getting uh, really almost time for the ODAC tournament. Um, what's what's the team really been doing to to prepare for, for the tournament? We've just been focusing a lot on our defense and rebounding, trying to limit teams to one shot, and then really working on our execution on offense, trying to not settle for, you know, a good shot when we have guys that are capable of taking great shots. So something like that, and just... Working on the little things like that, I feel like, are what are going to help us hopefully make a run in this tournament. Well, Tyler, we appreciate having you on the show, and hopefully we can get you come back come back again. All right, thank you very much. We'll be back in just one moment. Stay with us. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, Omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. Sunday brunch, 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table or another bright future. Roanoke College. Classic for tomorrow. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7 in Roanoke, Salem, Botata, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. And we're back here at Mac and Bob's with Coach Susan Dunning. This is the first time I've gotten to actually sit down with you this season. I know this is pretty special. I feel fortunate. <laughs> now, uh, coming, you're coming uh, back here from the Bass Center. Uh, just played Guilford College, uh, 80 or rather 68-61 loss. Talk a little bit, kind of about the game and and what happened. I tell you, we we played extremely well. I was so proud of these girls. Every person we put in there, everybody on the bench, they were so focused into the game. And, um, you know, it's one of those times where you just realize they refused to lose. They yeah. didn't want to lose. They wanted to win this game badly. And, um, and they showed it with their hustle. And they showed it with the things that they did out there. And they played a lot of team uh, basketball. They were rooting for each other. It was It was just fun to coach and it was fun to play. Now, looking at the stats here as we have uh, in front of us, I actually had to leave before the game came over so I could uh, set this up. But uh, looking at it, Paxton Gwynn, 19 points, 11 rebounds. It's her uh, she, third uh, third double-double in the last four games. She was a demon. She was she was awesome. And I'm just so sorry she doesn't get the rec- recognition she deserves because she, you know, she plays hard game in, game out, and in practice. Um, the kid uh, was awesome tonight. And um, talk a little bit just about our play so far in the last uh, last couple of games. I mean, you were coming off a three-game ODAC win streak. Um, you had some momentum uh, behind you coming into uh, the last couple of games. We did. We um, The girls, <clears throat> excuse me, they started playing uh, together. They started buying in everything. And plus the practice had helped. So we've been able to work more on it, have a little bit more practice time than we had earlier because we were going before we were going like game, practice, game, practice. And then we've had a chance to really try to um, uh, settle in and work on things we needed to work on. And they've gotten more used to playing with each other. Um, and they've, you know, they've bought into it. They've done well. And 
I, mean, I can't ask any more of them. Sure. Now, uh, going back to uh, a couple games ago, we played uh, Eastern Mennonite University at home, and they, re- I mean, they really played a very tough defense, um, really kind of hard to get by. You would bring this up, wouldn't you? I, I would just, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, getting ready to go into ODAC tournament time. I know. I know. And, yeah, they do. They're a tremendous team, as is Guilford. Um, you know, Guilford's tremendous in different ways. Um, EMU is just, they're physical. They're tough, full court the, the whole time. They keep the pressure on you. They, they're just relentless. And, um, and they've, you know, they're, they've got talent up and down the bench, and they have a lot of depth. Um, yeah, and it was, we played, we played hard, but we, there were a lot of things that we needed to do better, and I thought they did that tonight. So you, you've just played the top two teams in the ODAC. And, and again, you can see the sweat still <laughs> on my face. And, and played uh, a, a good game against Guilford. Yeah. Uh, so now uh, you're coming up uh, on Saturday. You're going to Randolph Macon. Uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you know, again, carrying momentum of playing two really tough teams uh, right. and, and, and going on to fish Randolph Macon. And have to go on the road, get up early, play a 2 o'clock game. Um, you know, I think right now the kids are riding this momentum and I, I'm anxious to see what we're going to do when we get up there, but making his plan well. And she always does this to me. They've got back to the hive night when we go up there. So they're going to have all kinds of alums there and cheering against us, but it makes it fun. Have a lot of respect for Carol. And, um, we always battle each other to the end. Now we had uh, a couple of alumni back tonight, uh, before the game. Talk, talk a little bit about, uh, so far, before each game, we've really recognized uh, players of the past. Talk, talk a little bit about what that means to the team and, and getting to have uh, alumni come out and, and see the games. I'm telling you, <clears throat> these these people who have you know been out, been recognized, they're extremely loyal to our program. They meant a lot to us. Um, they all have. And what it's I want it to be teaching our team is about our tradition and what's gone before them. And that, you know, I think it's taken us, we, we haven't had that feeling of, of tradition. And I think our kids are starting to see it. And by having the alums come back and meet them sure. and hear about their accolades and what they did. Uh, I know Coach Richmond was over there saying um, when they made the announcements and they were talking about KC, she had four ODAC championships, four ODAC championships, just saying, look, we can do this, you yeah. know. But, um, um, and I appreciate them. I'm, I'm sorry I missed her. Um, I would love to have seen Kay when she was talking. I heard she did a nice job. Absolutely. Did she say anything nice about me? Oh, well, I mean, you weren't here, so okay. I've been sworn to secrecy. <laughs> so, but um, it, and it's been good to see the, the girls take the pictures with, take the picture before the game, just to see the kind of the unity of of the past and, and the present as well. I'm so sorry. I did not hear what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing the girls be able to take the pictures before um, the games, like before the starting lineups with the alumni who've been oh, coming back. yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, and, and they appreciate that, and I'm hoping the alums appreciate that too um, because I tell them, you know, our kids are they're really shy when you don't know them, and they're not quite sure what to sh- say because they, they haven't had this opportunity because they are so young. But here, you know, tonight they were really um, – uh, concerned of thanking them and thanks for being here sure. and thanks for everything you've done for our program and that makes me feel good and that i feel like we're we're on our way forward absolutely well coach we appreciate you being here and you're a good man richmond uh we will uh we have the link as always on maroons.roanoke.edu uh, for the uh live video of the game against randolph Macon on saturday so if you can't make it down there definitely check it out on the website means. please support us yes. and your thoughts anyway if you can't be there <laughs> And we'll be back in just one moment as we get ready for Dave Sampson and Workhorses oh gosh, of the this Week. Will be special. <laughs> Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors Mac and Bods, All Sports, Stop In Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick fil A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. Roanoke College. Timeless and true. Smart and solid. Practical and professional. Making discoveries about yesterday. Creating visions for tomorrow. Lifted by a winning college spirit. Forging lifetime friendships with professors who prepare you for a place at the head of an operating table 
or another bright future. Roanoke College, classic for tomorrow. Join the team and support Roanoke College student-athletes. As a Maroon Club member, you can support the young men and women who represent the college on its athletic teams, in its intramurals, and on club sports. You'll get athletic and recreational team news straight from the coaches, be invited in club events, and receive an official Maroon Club decal. For more information, visit www.roanoke.edu slash maroonclub and become a member of the Maroon Club today. back here for everybody's favorite segment as always workhorses of the week with dave sampson got it's a, an eruption from the crowd over there yeah, a, i like that got a nice nice you're revving it up it was a more of a smattering before you uh, really rev that up it's a little bit more than a smattering i don't what are you talking about i don't about? know i don't know anyway we've got workhorses of the week to go workhorse to. of the week i think we're going to kick it off with uh track tonight men's indoor track uh Men's, uh, I got three nominees, uh, Judd, AJ, and Drew. Uh, Judd's a hurdler for us, and um, AJ and Drew are middle and distance men. Both of them had a great showing at the Liberty Invitational Absolutely. Um, not long ago. It was, it was tough to pick a winner, uh, but I've been with this kid for since he was a senior. He's a, I think he's a sophomore now. Yeah, he's a sophomore now. And... Um, I'm giving it to uh, my boy Drew. He's been begging me for a shirt, for a shirt, and I told him he's got to man up and actually do something worthy of a shirt. They're not; it's not a gift shop. I'm sure. not the Red Cross. We don't give things away. They're, they've got to be earned. I know Judd has earned one in the past, and AJ has earned one in the past. So, uh, Drew, congratulations, thumbs up. The first shirt he was. Uh, I had to run him out of my office today. He was nosing around the shirt pile. So. Um, Drew, you're back in good graces in storied company on the track team, and he's my workhorse of the week. Well, that, I, mean, I think if he had taken one, that could have uh, disqualified him from the uh, workhorse of the week. If he had taken one early. Automatic DQ right there. It's in running. It's just like or, or NASCAR. I think it did not finish. Yeah. DNF. DNF. But uh, he not only did he finish, he won. And uh, talking about uh, people who finished uh, very well, uh, your four uh, members of the 4x4. Uh, four four Animals. It was ridiculous. They're, they're, they're like a well-oiled machine on the track. And uh, I, I couldn't be any more proud uh, of those four girls. They have done a, an outstanding job. I know it was a, uh, a tough fall, tough indoor. And uh, to be in the, the form and the condition they're in right now is um, phenomenal. Absolutely. You know, I, I pay tribute to... Uh, Carl and Finn for their efforts and, and their uh, work with the girls in season and off season. I guess for these four, there's really no off season for them. Uh, Carmen's a, a soccer player, but the other three are, are tireless. I thought Satori looks like she has a question. She had, no, I guess not. No, I got but, um, but uh, these four girls to do what they did and run as fast as they did at this point in the season is phenomenal. So I'm proud of them. So it's a group effort. The uh, relay team. I'll get T-shirts. Congratulations yeah. uh, to all four Great of job. you. Uh, they'll be back in action this weekend. We'll talk a little bit about it as we close things up. Moving on to women's basketball. There's some graphics for us. Two of my faves, Kayla Lemke, one of our stars early tonight, and uh, returner for us, Kia Beckwith. I was I was worried. Uh, well, the graphic changed on me. We'll move right along to DJ Wilson, one of our post players, and the mask assassin Tatum McKee. Um, it, it's quite a, I know that's quite a uh, buffet of nominees for us, but 
You know, I've watched these girls practice and uh, they do a heck of a job. Kayla, Kayla's up there because she, she's got stitches. Uh, she got a nice bruise on her abdomen for having her appendix removed. So anytime, like you say, you break a bone or get surgery, it's an automatic nomination. Sure. So, um, Kayla, great job. She's up there. Kia has fought back through some difficulties. We weren't sure she was going to be back with us, uh, this semester, but she has pulled herself back up by the bootstraps. She's now working for me in the fitness center and, um, back on track with her grades and, uh, she is eligible to play, I think, as of Friday. I think Coach Dunn's had her out, you know, kind of working her back into things. Uh, she was eligible on the 31st. So Kia's, we look for good things for her this weekend. DJ has been getting more and more minutes inside the paint. I think um, I've talked to Coach Dunnigan and Coach Richmond. She's um, she's a work in progress, but she's getting more and more reps and more and more minutes. And I think I expect great things from DJ. And again, Tatum, we talked about her. You wear the face mask. It's an automatic nomination. Absolutely. So we got two automatic nominees with um, Kayla, the stitches and surgery. Tatum with the face mask. Kia fighting back through adversity to get back on the team and DJ. So I'm going to go out on a limb and give it to my two girls, DJ and Kia Beckwith. So we're giving out two of them. Um, uh, they're, they're both, I think, real special student athletes for us. Um, DJ, I don't think she quite knows what to think of me just yet. She kind of shies away from things. But I watch her in practice, and I've seen her get some quality minutes in the game, and I love watching her play. Uh, same with Kia. She, uh, she, like we talked about her earlier, she plays like her hair's on fire, and she's a tenacious defender. And I just love that about her. So congrats, girls. Again, uh it's a it's a multiple uh, multiple shirt giveaway. This it is. It's, this is going to cost yeah. me. I'm, I'm, I might be. I might have to reorder. I think you're going to have to put. All, <laughs> you're going to have to put all the spring sports people into one group next time. So you may. Get they one may be t-shirt. getting uh, workhorse dish rags or something. We something. may be out of t-shirts by then. I got uh, got some some rally towels you can get them. Right. Moving. Rebel. Yeah. Moving on to men's basketball. Men's basketball. I got my ever popular. Sorry. Sorry about that, Reed. I got a little vocal there. Sorry, folks at home. Uh, Daniel Eco has has been a beast inside for the Maroons for probably the past five or six games. He, um, he he does the job on the boards. He plays good defense, and he he's putting the ball in the hole now. But uh, I got Daniel up there because he is just for the last three games I've watched him, he has taken a beating inside and just doesn't quit. He's like the Energizer Bunny in a six foot seven package, with no drum and no fluffy ears. He's coming off uh, three consecutive uh, double doubles as well. He, it's a great job. I mean, he's he epitomizes what the workhorse is all about. It's not about the points, but he just does the dirty work. He he's on the floor after loose balls. He's grabbing defensive and offensive rebounds, and he's just taking a pounding. He is getting just pounded on week in and week out. So, uh, Daniel, it's all yours, brother. Congratulations to Daniel Eco. And uh, we'll see him in action tomorrow night against Guilford. Against the Quakers of Guilford College. They're going to bring their 23rd ranking in the country up to see Homer Bast. And hopefully uh, we put one past them. Absolutely. Yeah. Samson? Richmond always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thanks. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to get the uh, the videos back uh, next now time around. We've been under the gun here. I I, I got kind of a surprise video. I I didn't get a chance to slide that in. We're, I think we're gonna have to go double videos because I I'm not gonna let the cat out of the box. I got kind of a unique video that I, I think everybody's gonna get kicked out of for the All next right. one. Well, again, Samson, uh, welcome back, and uh, we'll see. Glad you in, to be uh, here. Couple of weeks. See you in two. We'll be back in just one moment as we wrap things up here at Tuesday Night Live. Stay with us. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, I can accomplish it. The well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the School is really shaped around you developing yourself as a complete individual. Right. 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 Right.
a family with your team that can guide you. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Mac and Bob's, All Sports, Stop in Food Stores, Dairy Queen, Chick-fil-A, Service Master, and the Roanoke College Bookstore. I'm Shane Beamer. And I'm Frank Beamer for Stop in Food Stores. Hey, Dad, I'm going to grab a hot dog. You want one? Sure. Let me give you... It's okay, Dad. I got this one. This week at Stop In, get two all beef hot dogs, only 99 cents. Get some refreshment with a fountain drink. Any size, just 99 cents. Plus, pay only 99 cents for any size coffee, tea, or icy. Now through Sunday only. All Stop In locations have quality branded gasoline. So stop in and fill up today. Shop where Dad and I shop. Stop in food stores. Looking for great food and the big game in high def? Try the new menu items at All Sports Cafe, including thick and juicy burgers grilled to perfection, served with fries and your choice of any side item. All Sports Cafe, where the object is to score great food. Be sure to catch Roanoke College Sports on Valley Vision TV, Comcast Channel 7, in Roanoke, Salem, Botata, Lexington, and Blacksburg. Brought to you by Mac and Bob's Main Street, Salem. For programming information or schedules, go to valleyvisiontv.com. Mac and Bob's opened for business in 1980. Over the years, we've grown from 10 stools to a full-service restaurant that seats 330 people. Now we invite you to come try our new breakfast menu featuring sweet potato pancakes, eggs benedict, omelets made to order, stuffed French toast, homemade sausage and gravy biscuits, and much more. Open for breakfast Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., Sunday brunch 10 a.m. till 2. See you for breakfast at Mac and Bob's in Salem. Welcome back to Tuesday Night Live here at Mac and Bob's. And Richmond has some details on some upcoming men's basketball games. And as we get ready to look at the upcoming men's basketball games, as we've talked about earlier in the show, men's basketball team will take on Guilford College. They're 14-4, and 6-3 and three in the ODAC. That game again is tomorrow night in the Bass Center at 7 p.m. And moving on to the game that they will play on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Maroons will take on the Eagles of Bridgewater, the 10-8 and eight team. Uh, they are 4-5 and five in the ODAC. Again, that will be at Bridgewater uh, at 2 p.m. And that game is a rematch from a game earlier this season. In women's basketball, they're going to play Randolph-Macon down at Ashland on February 2nd, Saturday. And on Tuesday, February 5th, they're going to play at Lynchburg. And that also is a rematch as Lynchburg got the best of the Maroons earlier this season. And the baseball team will finally be in action as they get ready to play. They're going to play a, a, the doubleheader on, on Saturday, February 2nd, uh, that will be at 1 o'clock. And then they will play a single game on Sunday, February 3rd, again against Me- uh, Methodist. They're going to play three games over the course of that weekend. And the men's lacrosse team has an exhibition against Mary Washington at Fredericksburg on 1 p.m. That's also Saturday. So we look forward to that contest as Bill Pilot's young men swing into action. And I think uh, I certainly know that uh, Coach Pilot is ready uh, to get things underway. He's been kind of chomping at the bit, I think. I asked him a couple of weeks ago when they started practice, and he said, three days. I'm ready to go, three days. <laughs> well, again, next time we'll be on maroons.roanoke.edu. Again, it's tomorrow night for the men's basketball game against Guilford. Uh, check us out there as uh, Rick Seidel will have the action uh, for you online. Uh, for Brett Pelletier, Brad Moore, Reed Hall, and everybody here at Roanoke College, We'll be back in two weeks at Mac and Bob's for Tuesday Night Live. See you then. Roanoke College Athletics would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Mac and Bob's. All Sports. Stop in Food Stores. Dairy Queen. Chick-fil-A. Service Master. And the Roanoke College Bookstore.